Okay guys, talk, uh, talking about stable coins yet again here, and in particular, we're talking about BUSD on Binance. This one obviously is taking the crypto space by storm right now. There's a ton of information out on this and what's going on, and want to kind of give you my two thoughts and uh, break it down a little bit, keep you informed on what's happening right now with stable coins. This is something we've got to pay close attention to. We talked about this way back in 2021, that when regulation comes, and you can, we can go back and talk about this or listen on the channel, we had great conversations, great live streams two years ago about this. When regulation comes, it's probably going to come for stable coins first. And that's exactly what we're seeing. That's exactly what's happening right now as we speak. So here's what's going down right now. BUSD, Binance is stablecoin, issuance stops. CZ has responded, BUSD will be redeemable. Now the big question is USDC next. So US regulatory crackdown on crypto companies gains momentum as Paxos has disclosed it will end its relationship with Binance for the Binance USD stablecoin. Okay, and will end the issuance of new tokens on February 21st. No more new tokens. Paxos disclosed that in a press release today, saying it acts per deriv uh, d directives from the New York Department of Financial Services, NYDFS, a regulatory body overseeing the blockchain infrastructure firm. However, it assures BUSD holders it'll continue to manage reserves for existing tokens, asserting that the tokens are fully backed. Additionally, it will continue to redeem BUSD for USD and its alternative PAX dollar until at least February 2024. So we've got some time to figure things out if you're a big holder of BUSD, right? But the latest move follows reports of an imminent United States Securities and Exchange Commission lawsuit against the BUSD issuer. Today, speculation is that the SEC now views the stablecoin as an unregistered security, leaving the entire crypto community baffled. But this is kind of what we predicted. This is kind of what we expected to happen, right? And here's the thing. A lot of these cryptocurrencies are securities, in my opinion. They are. And I think the more time goes on that we don't have clarity on this, the more it hurts us for bringing in new investors. So I actually like this. I actually, let's get out ahead of it. Let, let, let's, let's peel the Band-Aid off and let's have a path forward for cryptocurrency, right? Because this is what's going to bring people in. It's the unknown, the uncertainty of what drives people crazy. At least I know it drives me crazy. Now, notably, it's the latest in a growing crackdown on the nascent market in the U.S. Fox business reporter, Eleanor Terrett, uh, who said that more enforcement actions are probably in the works here and has reiterated a couple different viewpoints. They also think that another step in the unilateral effort between the SEC, the NYDFS, and the U.S. OCC is to blitz crypto. More wells notices going out in the coming two to three weeks. Keep an eye. And I think, again, the focal point is going to continue to be on stable coins, in my opinion. I think that is where they're going to lean heavy because that is what hits home the hardest on the banks, on the traditional financial system. And again, we can coexist here. Let's just get a path forward. You know, we can coexist and have crypto and have the traditional system. It's fine, right? But we just need a path forward. And I hope a lot of good comes of this. I, I really do. And, and I'm optimistic about the, you know, the future of this. But we need to find some common ground. We need to kind of move forward with a plan. And uh, CZ has responded to this. Um, so saying the funds are still safe and speaking on the alleged SEC, uh, SEC case against Paxos, CZ shared the view of the majority of the crypto community disclosing that if the courts rule in favor of the regulator, it will have a significant influence over how the industry develops in the United States while hinting that it could stall in the development in the US altogether. Let's hope that does not happen. Now, amidst all of these, some issuers have speculated that the intended target of this enforcement action is Binance. Of course, Binance, the largest centralized agency within the cryptocurrency market exchange, as Paxos is allowed to continue right now, USDP issuance. Recall the Binance also had a halt, uh, had to halt USD deposits and withdrawals for a short amount of time as well. Now, the big question we're watching is USDC circle next. So we shall see. We shall see if they're going to continue to go after a lot of these stable coins right now. We've got to stay locked in. But again, we expected this. Let's make the most of it. Let's move forward. I do think we will find a path forward, uh, but we have to understand what they're going to do, right? And abide by the rules and regulations. If they're labeled securities, so be it. Let's, let, let's coexist, right? Let's make it happen. So that's what I've got for you guys. Let me know what you guys think about all this down below and how they're going after stable coins and they're going after BUSD right now. Love to hear from you down below. We'll see you.